In 2014, Toyota told journalists that it had a revolutionary new solid state battery, which was so more advanced than everyone else that it would be mass manufactured and in Toyota's vehicles in the year 2022. In the year 2020, Toyota stuck to its claims. And in fact, in December of 2020, Japanese media reported that solid state batteries would be mass produced in Toyota vehicles in 2022, only, well, just over a year from then. However, Toyota changed their minds. Strange that, isn't it? By late 2021, they claimed that they would have the world's best solid state batteries because they were clearly leading in this industry in their cars in uh, 2024. By 2022, they would changed their minds again. Now they predicted 2025 would be the year. Yeah, we're sure of that. We're sure. 2025 it is. But don't worry, they said. We're leading the world when it comes to solid state battery technology. In fact, we are miles ahead of everyone else. When Western journalists questioned the company and they said, how do you know you're miles ahead? Well, Toyota said, well, it's very clear. It's, it's very, very clear how we're miles ahead. It's clear, right? I mean, how could you not know? We have more than 1,000 solid state battery patents. Some of the smarter journalists in the crowd looked at each other, smiled and nodded and said, okay, Toyota, I am incredibly surprised that absolutely nobody has reported on Toyota's lies. And I mean, blatant, abject lies about their solid state battery technology. They have made claims that have been proven to be utterly false, utterly nonsensical. In fact, they made them nearly a decade ago, and no one in the automotive industry is holding them to account. Frankly, it's absolutely ridiculous, and I can't believe anyone is believing Toyota and their claims about solid-state batteries. Well, now, one of Toyota's competitors in the solid-state battery industry is calling them out as well, claiming that they're at least 10 years away. And frankly, it's refreshing to see someone else who is actually backing up what I've been saying now for more than a year. Many people are not believing me, but let's look at the facts. Let's look at Toyota's original claims from nearly 10 years ago and see if the reality is anywhere near what Toyota has been saying. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have you guys. Welcome back, everyone else. And I have looked at the analytics for the channel. About 60% of people who watch the videos are not actually getting the videos in their direct feed from being subscribed. So yeah, you're having to find them through weird other ways. If you just subscribe to the channel, you will, in fact, you've got to press the little bell icon and thing as well. Then you will get our videos in your feed. We do about six videos a day. If you're not seeing six videos a day from us, you're well, obviously going to be missing out on this sort of information, which nobody else is talking about. Now, I'll tell you what other people are talking about on YouTube, okay? This is the kind of baloney you're going to get if you subscribe to some of the other channels which are calling themselves tech channels and whatever. Okay, when I was doing my research on Toyota's solid state battery claims, I found, well, there's really only one video about this saying back in April of this year that Toyota's solid state battery is real. It's live. Toyota are now using it in their cars. That's what the video says. That channel has 500,000 subscribers. People believing this kind of pure nonsense. And I'm talking, these YouTube channels are just making things up, completely making things up. Honestly, it's sort of embarrassing. It makes me feel like I'm trying to actually produce stuff for you guys here that's good quality. I'm trying to do proper research. And other people, they're just making garbage, just pure clickbait. I'm not going to share the channel that that video is on. You can go and find it for yourself if you want, but obviously it's completely false. Everything in the video is just nonsense. Can't believe I wasted any time of my life on that channel, on that video. Anyhow, point here is Toyota's claims on solid state batteries. Well, store dot. You've probably seen the information now. StoreDot are one of their competitors and StoreDot are saying, yes, we've been working on solid state batteries as well. We know what everyone else is doing. Well, we have a good idea of what everyone else is doing and solid state batteries are 10 years away. Now, whether or not that's true, it doesn't really prove or disprove my point. My point here is that Toyota is making things up in order to boost their stock price. Now, everyone's saying that about Tesla. They're saying, Elon makes up things to boost Tesla stock price, but no one in the industry, and I'm talking no one, none of these Tesla haters are actually doing any research on the, uh, the companies that they love. They're saying, they're saying Tesla's doing this, they're the big bad guys, but I'm not interested at all in finding out the truth about the companies that I'm supporting. To me, that's not having a backbone. To me, that's being insincere. And I'm sorry, I know some of you watch this channel, some of you who dislike Tesla, I understand that, but I've got to call you guys out because if you're criticizing Tesla, you need to be doing research actually showing 
if the claims of the companies you're supporting are legitimate, are they true, are they real? And I can tell you right now, well, we already know, whenever I spend just an hour of research, I find out that pretty much every single automotive company on the face of the planet has been just making things up because they sounded good because they could boost the stock price. GM's done it. Toyota has actually done this. On so many occasions, it's ridiculous. And the interesting thing is often when they make a claim like this, what do you think does happen? The stock price. They usually do this sort of thing right after the stock price has gone down. The stock price will go down five to 10%. They'll have a little like session. I'm guessing they've got some sort of media team that get together and go, what, what can we do? What can we say? What can we say? What can we say to get our stock price to go back up again? And they come up with something like this. Now you're probably thinking, what do you mean? What are you talking about? Well, here are the, here's the truth. Toyota said it was in production engineering for its solid state battery back in 2015, seven years ago. Seven years ago, it was in production engineering. Uh, seven years ago, they said that they had a solid state battery that was ready to go. Um, you guys calling out Tesla? I mean, this is worse. This is worse. If Tesla said they had a solid state battery seven years ago, we wouldn't have heard the end of it. We would have, we, we would, there would have been so many claims mocking Elon Musk over and over and over. But Toyota made clearly a much more, I mean, to be honest, if Tesla say we've got a Cybertruck, right? They say we've got a Cybertruck, we're going to produce it in 2022. We've got a roadster, we're going to produce it. Yeah, I mean, that's just a car. It's not really all that relevant. But if Tesla came out and said, we have uh, the world's first product of its kind, which is going to solve every problem of the world every battery problem, it told its investors, right? We're the only company in history to have this product. The only one. No one else has this. This technology is so far ahead. Everyone else is like years. I mean, we're talking at least a decade behind and we have it, right? Seriously, do you think that Tesla might have been sued by investors or even by the government for making completely false claims? Guarantee you. Absolutely. They would have been in court numerous times, numerous times because Solid state battery technology, you know how much money's gone into this? We're talking more than $70 billion has been invested into this and no one has done it yet. They're making all kinds of interesting claims. No one has yet actually produced. Now, here's what was said back in early 2015. Toyota is in the production engineering stage of building an electric vehicle battery with a solid electrolyte. Reports suggest the new battery will debut in Japan in a model in 2022 with an all new platform. Now, guys, seriously, we've heard some more of these claims this year from Toyota. Do we have an actual product? Has anyone seen it? Has anyone seen Toyota's solid state battery? Or have we just heard talk from Toyota? Has anyone seen this? Like, I don't think anyone has. I can't find it. I can't find pictures of it. I can't find diagrams of it. I can't find the thing working. So if it exists, then no one has seen it. I mean, realistically, I can't believe that people are buying this stuff, but they're clearly just charlatans. This is a joke. Now, there are numerous articles talking about Toyota's enormous solid state battery lead over everyone else. Toyota's made that claim themselves. You know why they claim Toyota has a massive lead with solid state batteries over everyone else? The only piece, there's a single piece of evidence they have. Toyota has like a million patents for solid state batteries. Basically, they've tried a million different things. None of them worked. They just patented everything. Oh, let's patent that. That's a good idea. Let's patent that. Let's stop everyone else from being able to produce it that way. Because maybe that'll work. Maybe that'll work. No, that didn't work. Oh, here's another idea. We could do it this way. Let's patent that. Does that sound like a good strategy to you? Having a thousand patents? Like they're all different patents, right? None of them say this is the way to make the battery. It's just Toyota went, well, that didn't work. Yeah, okay, here's another idea. We'll go down that route, but let's patent it first because maybe it'll work. To me, that doesn't really sound like a strategy. It doesn't really sound like that's a reason for saying Toyota is ahead of everyone else. In fact, I don't think they are. The truth is, I believe some American firms have a clear lead over Toyota. Why? Because they actually release information about their batteries. They actually tell everyone what they're doing. It's called transparency. It's called honesty, right? Now, the interesting thing is, right, back in 2015, when this information was originally published by numerous different newspapers in the United States and all around the world, that Toyota was about to break out their solid state battery technology because they had this huge lead and they're already producing them pre-production stage. At that time, Toyota pushed hydrogen fuel cell vehicles like the Mirai as an advanced automotive technology that would well, supplant EVs. They even broke a partnership with Tesla, sold their stock, which would now be worth more than the entire company, and developed an all-electric RAV4 in 2014, though they declared that the fuel cell vehicle was the way of the future. However, interestingly, in 2015, Toyota claimed it had been working on revolutionary new batteries for more than a decade. So basically, Toyota potentially has been working on these batteries now for more than 17 years. And yeah, they're not coming out in 2022. That is a guarantee. Now, getting back to my patents, Toyota's patents, I should say. How many patents have they actually got? Well, on Toyota's website, 
they say this, Toyota is leading solid state battery production with over 1,000 solid state battery patents, more than any other car maker. They've got over 1,000 solid state battery patents. That to me just sounds like an absolute shitstorm of confusion. That doesn't sound like they're leading in terms of production. They haven't actually produced any battery. They haven't actually produced a commercially viable product yet. If they had, I guarantee you, everyone would know about it. Now, Israel battery startup StoreDot had some really interesting things to say, and it was refreshing to hear them because I think they're being honest and factual. They say that EVs powered by mass-produced solid-state batteries are at least a decade away. Now, the key here is mass-produced, right? Sure, maybe a company will be able to put in a solid state battery into a supercar next year, right? That none of us can afford for a million plus dollars. The key here is price and mass production. No company is anywhere near mass producing solid state batteries yet. Solid state batteries can theoretically promise much greater range, less mass, and much faster charging than what we have right now. They use solid electrolytes instead of the liquid or polymer gel found in current chemistries, including lithium ion, and lithium polymer. Here's what StoreDot had to say. It's crucial that leading battery developers like StoreDot give global automotive manufacturers a realistic and Toyota, please pay attention, hype-free roadmap for the introduction of extreme fast charging battery technologies, said StoreDot CEO, Dr. Doran Meyersdorf. Now, speaking of hype-free, if Toyota had have said back in 2015, guys, we're making some claims. We're saying we have a solid state battery in pre-production in 2015. Uh, the truth is we're not gonna have that battery until in cars until maybe 2026 at the absolute earliest. If they'd said that, what would have happened to their share price, right? Would it have been different? Of course, absolutely it would. So Toyota has hyped up a product they probably knew at the time wasn't gonna be in production for, well, I don't think they even know now how long it's gonna be, but they promised it would be in a car in 2022. And it's not, and it won't be. StoreDot said, right now, despite some of the bullish claims by our rivals, all solid state batteries are still at least 10 years away. They are certainly no silver bullet for any vehicle maker currently developing fast charging electric vehicle architectures. To be fair, maybe I'm reading this and just seeing confirmation bias. Now you guys know, I've been saying the same thing for a while now. I haven't said minimum 10 years, I've said minimum five years. And I've said that Toyota and Nissan are making completely bogus claims about the so-called solid state battery technology that they claim to have. And hearing this from StoreDot, it reinforces my belief. My belief, number one, that solid state batteries, in fact, are not the answer to mass produced EVs, just affordable high density lithium ion phosphate batteries are. And realistically, I, ne I don't see solid state batteries as ever becoming a mass produced product. When I say mass produced, a mass produced affordable product that would be in a car, say, costing the average price, say $40,000. StoreDot said manufacturers should be considering interim technologies in the medium term, such as semi solid state batteries. And that is what I agree with. That's what I've been talking about on the channel, semi-solid state batteries. There are companies in China and elsewhere that are currently actually starting to produce those batteries. That's real. That technology is legit and it actually works. We believe a more practical step is the introduction of semi-solid state batteries, which we are targeting for mass production by 2028, added Dr. Meyersdorf. These will be advanced, safe, high-performing cells that can achieve 100 miles of charge in three minutes. They have the additional benefit of requiring a simpler and less challenging manufacturing process than all solid state technologies. And that's the key point. They have the benefit of requiring a simpler and less challenging manufacturing process. Now you can have the best product in the world, right? I mean, there's all kinds of race cars, there's all kinds of race rocket, there's rocket ships, there's all kinds of products, but how many of us can afford a rocket ship, right? That's the key issue here. That's the point we need to remember. And that's probably the reason why companies like Toyota don't have solid state batteries in their vehicles yet. Probably the key reason is that no one is willing to pay $2 million for a Toyota EV with a battery in it, which is frankly completely unproven. Now, Storto is a legit company and they don't make bogus claims. They have existing partnerships with Volvo and Polestar and they currently have a plan to introduce their 100 in 5 silicon dominant lithium ion battery chemistry in 2024. So who else is actually winning in the solid state battery world? And there are companies that are, in my opinion, a lot further ahead than what Toyota claims to be. Stordot. Solar Power recently announced it completed the installation of its pilot production line for 
the solid state battery cells. Solid Power currently has partnerships with BMW and Ford and it's planning to deliver its solid state battery cells to companies for qualification testing by the end of 2022. These guys are way ahead of Toyota. Now Nissan is another company like Toyota which are making, in my opinion, bogus claims. They recently unveiled their so-called prototype solid state battery production facility at their research center in Japan. And the Japanese car maker says it is developing solid state batteries for its alliance partners, Renault and Mitsubishi as well. And it plans to launch them in 2028. So what? six years away. I realistically think Nissan doesn't have a hope or a prayer of ever producing a solid state battery. I've not seen any evidence to prove that I'm wrong on that. Now here's where things actually start to look even worse for Toyota because they're making statements now that are completely contradictory to what they were making seven years ago. Seven years ago, Toyota claimed that its solid state battery that it had in development, that it actually had, could put into vehicles, was able to withstand temperatures up to minus 100 degrees and plus 50 degrees. Now, the thing is, Toyota said recently that it's been testing solid state batteries since 2020. Did they forget the fact that in 2014, they made claims saying they were testing it back then, but now they've changed. Now they've said, Oh, those six years, let's just delete those, pretend those didn't happen. Now, the weirder part about this is the fact that Toyota is claiming that they're gonna use their solid state batteries in hybrid vehicles. Hybrids, right, doesn't make sense to me. Doesn't I don't understand why this would make sense to anyone. I mean, there's hybrid powered vehicles in China that have 1,400 kilometers of range. I mean, why on earth would you need a solid state battery in that? It just doesn't make any sense at all. But here's the thing, Toyota says that it's short service life of its current battery that it claims to have is the primary concern and is therefore continuing its development of solid state electrolyte materials. It also said that cold temperature performance is an issue for its battery. For so somehow back in 2015, cold weather performance wasn't an issue for their battery. It could do minus 100 degrees. All of a sudden, seven years later, it's an issue? Hmm. Something fishy is going on there. Now Stellantis and Mercedes-Benz announced in late 2021, they've jumped on the solid state battery train and signed joint agreements with US-based Factorial Energy to develop solid state batteries for EVs. Factorial Energy, in my view, are legitimate. And I think they're being pretty honest. They're saying their first competitive solid state battery technology will come out in 2026. That's a much more realistic timeline than some of the other companies like Toyota's. Hyundai and Kia have also partnered with Factorial Energy to test solid state batteries in their EVs. In December of 2020, Volkswagen backed company QuantumScape announced it'll have its solid state batteries ready for production in 2024, which I think is highly unlikely. And GM, of course, have also said that they are working on solid state battery technology as well. Now, of these companies, I believe QuantumScape, Factorial Energy, and Solid Power are the three companies actually worth paying attention to? It's worth listening to what they have to say. It's worth seeing their data and their presentations on their solid state batteries because that shows us where the industry is going. When Toyota makes these claims, Nissan makes these claims that they have these magical solid state batteries, I wouldn't take them in any way remotely seriously. And how honestly could you? When 1,000 patents and 15 years of development have achieved well nobody actually knows thanks for watching my friends let me know your thoughts in the comment section below bye, -bye.